Hey, good morning, folks. AJ here, and we are getting ready to head down to Zion Chester and me to do some enhancements to the system that we installed quite a while ago. We put everything in their fellowship hall, um, built a new media booth and everything like that, but now they want me to add some stuff into their main sanctuary because they'd like to move back into the sanctuary as they're um, restarting back everything um, full service and going back into the sanctuary. So we got a lot of stuff, but let me just give you a glimpse of all the projects that we got going on. Um, I got a ton of stuff here. Um, all of, a lot of this is for Guild um, Field, um, and got some computers, all this, and I got a new server rack. Yay, because I needed some more space. But um, so we can put all the NASs and everything in that. But um, oh, oh yeah, and then we got some other stuff for signs and wonders right there. Um, yeah, it, it's gonna be fun. But this is all for um, Zion Chester right now. So let's. Get on the road, head down there, and then we get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to expand our, our networking capacity here. Yeah? So we got a eight port switch here to replace that five port. Take that down. Then we have another connection for the internet line that's gonna go all the way over there as well as for the joystick. Um, this one is not PoE, so this is going to be connected to the switch that they're turning on everything on right now. Um, so that'll take care of that. So let's do that, and it's cold <laughs> in here. <laughs> All right, we're here in the sanctuary with a rack mounted X32. They hung the two TVs here, and they hung one back here. I'm gonna take that camera down, PTZ. Um, hopefully it won't get too far. I'm probably gonna hang it upside down so it can be clear there. But issue that I have with this is with the XLR connections on here, this is not deep enough. So I'm taking everything out of here and I need to slide these rails forward maybe about two inches so that the whole rack can sit back that way. So. That's what we're getting ready to do right now. All right, so I got the rails moved up, but as I was drilling in, it seems like this is just setting on that um, board right there. It's just setting on there, so this whole thing is moving. So I'm gonna see if ah, I just threw away those extra lag bolts when I was cleaning out my bag, but I need to secure this better to the wall. So I'm gonna see what we can do to come up with that. Alrighty, um, I'm pulling up the old cable that was going to the other camera up out of the way and I'm gonna, well, these were zip tied so I'm gonna cut those and then maybe bundle those up but the main thing is I'm gonna keep the X32 here on the, the pew right now when I hook everything back up because I want to make sure I can get sound and everything and there's no point in trying to do that and he didn't make this long enough huh. so I need to move that down because that won't reach now anyway once I move that down I'm gonna start to take down the old camera and put up the new one all right folks we got sound on well through the speakers and obviously through one of the mics um, that's all I really needed I have the PoE switch up there I'm gonna get the HDMI um, splitter over here as well too and then gonna make the trip up into the attic find where that is and I left the ethernet cable up here that's <clears throat> that will bring in internet over here so the good thing is we don't have to walk all the way down I mean we kind of do for the cameras the HDMI fiber HDMI cables from this camera and the one that's gonna be placed up here and then we got one other feed that's gonna come back that's going to feed that but we're doing good one issue is that conduit is painted shut so i'm gonna either have to cut it or pull it down to get into that but that's what we're doing next all righty here's the cable that i left up here when <laughs> we pulled this originally so now i need to get over there see if i can get over to the sanctuary uh. three hours later all right, folks, a lot of work has been done. We have K 
cables through. Um, we got internet connection. That's on the network. We're able to see that. I've ran this cable on the floor just to get a signal and power to this camera. This TV has an HDMI cable behind it. That one has one behind it, so I got to get up behind there so I can hook the cable up to the TV. Another 100 foot. I have it, but it's really tangled up. Um, so I'm going to see if I can try and do that. But yeah, it's been a lot, been a lot. <laughs> but let me see if I can get up here. I got to get another 100 foot and run that for both of the cameras all the way back over there. And then um, I got some time. They're going to be over here during um, Mother's Day. So as long as I get everything mounted and then ultimately we just got to get cables, we should be good to go.